many concessions do you all have total? Um, in Mozambique all over we operate four concessions. We got two in the Tet province here. Um, okay. We got one in the Zambezia province of Mozambique. That is our buffalo area. So it's actually just on the other side of the famous Marimu Reserve. Hmm. On the northern banks of the Zambezi River. It's where the, um, where the Zambezi River goes into the ocean, excuse yeah. me. So yeah, that's our buffalo concession out there. And then on the other side, we got very good leopards and buffalo just on the other side of the lake here. And also some, a lot of planes going. Yeah. Northern Mozambique, our Nyasa concessions is extremely good for leopards as well. But we got a lot of planes going out there in different species like um, Roosevelt sables, the Liechtenstein hartebeest, Nyasa, Nyasa wildebeest, Livingston yeah. Island. Uh, we got a little bit of red diker out there in Sunni, you know, all the small little things, yeah. yeah. This is the concession where we started in Mozambique, it's mm -hmm. called Nahinda. Um, it's on the Lake Korabasa, which is a reservoir that's been um, made, I think, in the 60s by the Portuguese out here. The lake is about 150 miles long about, and most of the place is 5 to 10 miles wide. It's full of crocodiles, and yeah. that is what yeah. we basically focus on in this concession mm -hmm. here. It's, mm -hmm. it's crocodile and leopard hunts mostly. There's some planes going and stuff around. Um, we've made a name over the years in this area to shoot monster crocs. Yeah. We focus on hunting big crocodiles. But yeah, and we go, our camp is based right in the middle of our concession here and we got about on the lake about 55, between 55 and 60 miles of lake frontage. And hunt the concession is 700,000 acres. That is our plan with the four concessions, is that we can basically offer the clients whatever they want here in Mozambique. Whatever they want in Mozambique. And take them there. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. Oh my gosh, when the sun sets and the colors that are shown on the water, it's not even, you can't put it into words. I know that's something a lot of Americans use to just say, oh, I can't, it's so beautiful, I can't even put it into words. No, there's no color that I, you can actually say what it is. The place is stunning. You can tell that there's been a lot of time and effort put into this place. Accommodations are wonderful. Two beds in every room. I have my own little room or hut to myself. I have a bathroom and a shower. Private, personal, just for me in there. Food is amazing, of course. As you can tell, my vest is getting a little tight from the good food here. Uh, you wake up, they always have your coffee ready, which I'm a big coffee girl. And from there, they just take care of you. I mean, it's, it's the little things, like carrying my stuff down to the boat. Yeah, I can do it, but they do it before I even think about doing it. They go out of their way to help you. At most camps, you come back in the evenings, you have a cocktail or you have dinner, and then you sit around a campfire. Here, it's a little different because we are so remote. It gets very, 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 very dark at night. So we make a very small campfire. Um, so you can actually see how beautiful and bright the stars are and it's breathtaking. I love hunting this concessions and just yeah. I've, I've always had the, I've been fortunate when I was very young I hunted with my dad in this free roaming countries yeah. and it's just I when I was a young boy I just said I want to hunt here one day and I want to operate in this place. So this is a dream? It was a dream yes. That's correct. awesome. That's I still cool. love doing it. Good. It's been a family operation for the last 28 years. Okay. Um, I've been basically running the Mozambique part for the yeah. for the last five years. My my dad and mum comes in every now and then when we're yeah. busy, you know, at the beginning of the season to help me to get the camps ready, and everything. And then we got uh, full-time professional hunters working for us on different concessions mm. that hunt with it. And yeah, I still guide most of the. I will guide at least five months in Mozambique straight till the end of November. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you wake up in the night and you hear the hippos. We are watching and listening to the crocs and I will be back. This place is magical. It's beautiful. It's the most remote I've ever been, but it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to also. It's, um, it's beautiful here. <laughs>